Going over to the Commissioner of the International Hockey League, Mr. Dennis Hextall, for the presentation of the Turner Cup Playoffs Most Valuable Player Award and the presentation of the Turner Cup. First of all, we've uh, seen another great hockey game, and over the last two months, the teams with the two best records are here tonight. And Flint has played great. I've watched them all year. Absolutely great. Well coached, great team. We look at Fort Wayne. I'd like to uh, acknowledge the ownership of the Frocky family, all the brothers, Michael, Stephen, where's David, Richard, and William. There's David. And got Scott that. Sproke. There's Stephen Frocky there with his tan sports coat on. Also, Fort Wayne is known as a great hockey town. And and you just have to look around to see why they're so successful. The fans here have supported this team year in and year out. You're absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Commissioner. I would love to have them have Bruce Boudreau make a, make a comment down there. That'd be something, wouldn't it? I don't see him up there. He might be down there. The most valuable player for the series is Matt Cernsinski. How about that? Gets the MVP. How about that? Good for him. Congratulations, Matt. And you're the one that says for the Thomas to win this series, Cernsinski <laughs> has to step in the I can't front. believe I got, got that one right. Not, sure nothing did. against Matt, but boy. Wow. Wow. And the fun will begin when they pick that taller thing up next to them. And hopefully this year we'll stay together. <laughs> and the next trophy, I guess, uh, where's Guy Dupuis? and PC Druin and your camera and Colin Chalk. Three great veterans there, Tim. Boy, I tell you, what they've put to this hockey club last few years. Yeah. They, they right. pose for pictures. As Flint leaves the ice, Good competitors, good team. I, I like the Flint Generals. Congratulations for your accomplishment. Coming out of last place to finish in the fourth and final playoff spot yeah. and giving us a heck of a run for our money. It wasn't easy by any stretch of imagination. No. Some of you few people out there, and I say few, to think we run rough shot over this league. I say BS to each and every one of you. Well, Blake Sebring had a nice article in the, in the paper today, and... Fort Wayne brings the best out of hockey players here because of the tradition and the way they're treated. And Bruce Boudreau you know, stated a couple times in our little interview that this is a great place to play, play your minor hockey uh, professional experience. As the comments to the tune of We Are the Champions is carried by P.C. Drew, and he hands it off now. The shot. Colin Chalk gives it a kiss. Of course, this is the replacement trophy from the original Turner Cup, which is in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Copy to uh, hey, are you having fun? Patients. Let's hear it, yo! Who's that, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy down here, but it's fun Bertram. to be crazy. Three straight. Yep. Turner Cups. Guy Dupuy. Guy. Guy Dupuy. Captain Guy Dupuy, congratulations. Three in a row. Did you ever think you'd live to see this? 
Uh, it's just awesome, you know, uh, awesome night. Everyone is great, you know. Um, the, the first one was triple overtime. Um, you know, last year was, was super challenging. And tonight, we were up 3-0. They came back, uh, two goals in the third period. They made it really interesting. So everyone is great, every couple is great. And uh, those, the fans were just awesome tonight. Good job, fans. Congratulations. Thanks, Bob. Okay, let's see, where the heck is Al Sim? <laughs> Al Sim, where's Al? <laughs> Gotta find the coach. Al Sim. Where's Al? Where's Al? In the meantime, I've got to see the general manager here, David Tronke. David is ecstatic, and why not? Congratulations, you put a real dynasty together. Thank you, Bob, thank you very much. Thank you to all the fans that came out tonight and all year long, not only at home, but on the road. Everybody in this building tonight, is a witness to the golden age of Comet hockey. It's never been done that we've won three playoff championships in a row in the 58-year history of this franchise. And we did it tonight, and these people saw something that may never, ever happen again. And another thing, I'm running out of ring fingers. Well, we'll find out what we can do with that sooner or later. Congratulations. That's uh, Shafronov's daughter okay, there Colin. that's uh, getting Shelter. hugged by... Uh, this is David Franke, I believe. I see Colin Schock. Yep. And if anybody ever played their heart out to win, there's Bill the Franke with the uh, white hair in the picture. picture. Of course, David. Kind of satisfying, eh? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's really cool to see the guys win the first time. Uh, you know, we've been fortunate enough for uh, the Franke family to give us, uh, you know, a great team every year and great coaching staff, all the tools. And, uh, you know, we do it on the ice, and they know that, but... Uh, you know, it's tough when you don't have a lot of depth, and uh, we got three solid lines, two great goalies, seven solid defense, and the rest is history. Well, you had a great cast all the way down the line. The young guys worked hard, and the leaders and the old-timers, you guys really lit it up like I've never seen you before. I think this is the best playoff you fellows have had in the three. Well, you know, we, we, we voice always in the room that... Uh, if the veterans get off their ass and do their job, <laughs> and the rookies play like veterans, we got a great chance to win every year, and that's what happened this year. Congratulations again, Shocker. Summer. Thanks, Chaser. All right, here we go. One down, one down, and there are many more, many more. We're going to have a couple to talk to here uh, in just a moment. Trying to find Nick Boucher. Where's Nicky? Okay, after they talk to Nick, Nick Boucher, Boucher, where did you go? We'll do a wrap on our post-game Nick, Nick, show. Nick. Or we could be here all night. Here's the guy. Three straight Turner Cups. Nick Boucher. <laughs> well, Nick, you're always the guy that tells the coach, give it to me. I'll get it for you. You did it again. I think we did it this year. It was a, it was a heck of an effort. Defensively, we're just solid all year. And them down you know it was shut out going into the third and the guys just 11 shots so the guys did a fantastic job uh fact checking clogging up the neutrals heck of a you took one night off timmy came along and filled the gap and got us to here and you finished the business off and uh congratulations you're mr consistent and you're the one guy we can rely on all the time to give his best well, like you said, Timmy stepped in, you know, I, coming off a rough night up in Flint, and he, uh, you know, he, he gave us a chance to win, and we, we got it done up there, tough building to play in, and then we brought it home to win for you guys. Congratulations again. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Bob. Okay, Nick Boucher. Hey, rookie. Kaylee Shaw. Okay. Well, here, Kaylee. Let's hear Kaylee. That's we were supposed to win this Fort one. Wayne boy. How do you feel? Oh, great. This is awesome. You know, I cherish this. Uh, I'll cherish this forever, and especially uh, my teammates and the character they showed throughout the playoffs. It was uh, just an incredible experience. Uh, Kaylee has probably won 10 or 15 Turner Cups in his basement as he grew up. That's right. <laughs> now you got the real thing. Yeah, it was a uh, uh, cup feels uh, weightless when you, you know, when you lift it. It was a 
great feeling, and I want to thank all the Fort Wayne fans for all the support this year. Kelly Schrock, let's... All righty. Got another local boy here. Can I find him or not? All right, we'll be uh, back for the post-game wrap-up. Comets win their third Turner Cup in a row.